Hello everyone, welcome to the video. My name is Coslix. Today we are going to be going over how I became a pro and if you guys are trying to become pro, how to become a pro. So every year, there's new pros that come to the scene and they get really good. Last year's Ethan, Sandstorm. Uh, this year, so far, Kui could be it. But these players uh, are semi-pros becoming a pro have been playing the game for a long time. So what makes you become a pro? How do you get to be a pro? And I'm gonna share you the secret because in 2017 when that was me, I was a semi-pro trying to become a pro. I did this and I think 99, or not 99%, but like over 90% of pros in the community that aren't from 2014 and 15, so back when the Brawlhalla first came out, uh, became a pro by doing this. So I'm just going to be playing some strikeout just for fun, but uh, that's just more of a background type of thing. I'm going to be talking to you guys how I became a pro. Anyways, before we get into this, make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and comment if you want to see more videos like this. Um, put some ideas in my Discord down below, uh, and uh, follow me on Twitter. Link is down below because Twitter is a poppin' social media platform. Anyways, so this is just going to kind of be me rambling as you guys get some quality assurance gameplay in the background but how I became a pro there's like kind of different stages so in Brawlhalla you know how there's ranks so there's like tin bronze silver gold platinum diamond right so there's a huge difference from becoming diamond and being a semi pro and being a pro I'd say those are the three levels of diamond there's like diamond so like 2000 to 2200 Semi-pro, which is like 2,200 and above, and then pro, which is top 8 in tournament. Obviously, to get through ranks in Brawlhalla, you play ranked and you get better and better, but, user 404, I don't know, random guy, but when you are trying to become a pro, or semi-pro at first, what do you do? So, you need to know all the combos in the game, so like that's kind of like, for not everyone in the game, but like know what's true and isn't true for the most part. I don't know every single gauntlet's true combo, but like, I know that like, I'm just gonna spam dodge and jump at the same time, like stuff like that. Like just know the combos, no spacing, that's how you get from like diamond to like semi-pro. You just keep playing ranked and then just practice the combos, right? So yeah, for me that was really just practicing combos like side light recovery, side light stare, side light down there, side light nair, side light down there, follow ups, things like that. When I was getting good, I would spend like an hour a day in training mode. I did, I, I streamed this and this is back when I was more of a semi pro trying to become a pro. So this kind of goes into it as well. I already knew the combos at that point, but it's more just practice for precision in a tournament. But it's just a ton of ranked grind. So you practice these combos, make sure you know them all, and then you gotta just keep playing ranked. So you learn these combos and you just play a ton of rank. So my first season of ranked, I had like 400 wins and I was only plat one. It took me 450 hours to get to diamond and I got it season three and I was 2150. But then from season, in season four, I went from a diamond to a semi-pro where I played a ton of ranked and was practicing combos, right? So obviously you need to find what you're good at, but you need to find what works. So if something works in ranked, you keep doing it and you keep playing ranked. It's just ranked, 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 ranked. Like it's just grind after grind, trying to always increase your elo. Set it like your top elo is your skill level because it basically is until you hit diamond or like pro. Even semi-pro, your top elo is your skill level. And if you can hit first global, it means you can hit top eight in a tournament. And obviously when I say first global, that doesn't mean like you're being boosted or you're playing some easy players at 4am. It's like you, you really play ranked against everyone and you can get to that prestige area. So from diamond, it's just playing ranked and stuff like that. So you practice these combos, you make sure you know what's true and what not, what works on your kit and what works with your play style. Wait one sec, I want to see this chat. Why do you think that was a GG? A small quantity of a particular thing. Cool. How do you say it? Modicum. Modicum. I did not know that word. 
cool. Uh, okay, so uh, I guess I don't have any talent. But anyways, <laughs> how you get from... So, like, those combos and stuff get you from semi-pro to becoming... Or diamond to becoming a semi-pro. And then when you're a semi-pro, you kind of do the same thing. So you keep increasing your elo, learn the combos, and that's all it is. Spend all your time doing that whenever you're playing Brawlhalla. And then eventually, it's like, hey, I'm 2400 elo plus every season, or this season. Why not enter tournaments? And you could probably do this before 2400 elo. I did it when I was at 7, like, platinum. And the whole point of tournaments is you enter as many as you can. When I was playing, it's not just the official ones. I would go on challenge and just refresh the page and jo join random tournaments. That's how I got community colors for the first time. I won a tournament against like some like low diamond player or something on EU. I think his name was Lynx. And um, that's how I won my first uh, CC. And that's also what got me in the community. It's all about just playing in as many tournaments as possible and grinding ranked. You can also like win some money doing these tournaments. There's a lot of like weeklies, like there's the Friday Night Brawl tournament, there's the Esports for you for $100, and like any tournament experience is good. I actually have this one website, I might put it in the description, that shows you every tournament on Smash GG that has Brawlhalla, so... I can, yeah, I'll put that in the description if you guys want to take a look. It's like a Brawlhalla stats website, and it just shows you every Smash GG tournament. Every Smash GG tournament. So, yeah. Um, from there, just join in as many as you can. Dedicate your time to playing in them until you can start winning them all. Because I don't play in them now because I'm just going to win. Unless there's, like, multiple good pros. But, yeah, so just playing as many of those tournaments until you start winning and join all the circuit tournaments keep track of what you place and trying to try and place higher every time and realize pros are actually really bad in tournament because uh people suffer from like nerves and stuff like that so like as long as you can get that tournament experience and keep your composure you can do it so yeah play ranked until you hit first global and just playing as many tournaments as possible and i guarantee you one day you will make top eight you just got to keep at it and always improve don't like if you're doing something wrong like i like to think of it every time i get hit i make a mistake so if I, like look we're in neutral right now i jumped i i should have jumped there when he was recovering like i i dodged horizontally i shouldn't have done that right so those are mistakes so it's all about limiting those and take out the easy mistakes. So like if you're overextending or if you're missing, learn that. Cause like, see how I'm just missing? Okay, that was good. That slide charge was risky. I did downlight and got punished for it. Every single time you get hit, it's a mistake. So realize why you get hit. But like that guy, he was jumping and I just stared him. So yeah, just like realize what your mistakes are and um, yeah, just work on that. And play in as many tournaments as possible. Uh, learn all the combos in the game. And like you don't need to learn them in all in one sitting. It's just maybe practice them in training room. And also watching pro players and see how they play can also be really good. Because pro players make a ton of mistakes. Even Sandstorm, if you watch his gameplay, he makes a lot of mistakes. But it's really taking advantage of those mis mistakes. Right, like I look at my playstyle and I play really bad most of the time because I'm making mistakes left and right. Oh my god, why can't I remember the lyrics? I just know how it goes. Mm, it's like God keep our land in gloriosity for your whatever. Canada lyrics. I'm finding these. Okay, we don't okay. I don't know Oh Canada. Okay, we're looking to the lyrics. We're on Wikipedia. Oh Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love and all our of us command with glowing hearts we see the rise the true north strong and free there we that's what i was looking for we did it okay but yeah thank you guys for watching this video if you do enjoy hit that like subscribe and comment if you are a semi pro or a pro or someone who wants to be a pro and you're watching this video let me know if it helped you and if you have any problems put them in the comments but really it's just ranked grind just playing as much ranked as possible every single season i get at least 400 wins this season I got 500 wins, so just keep it up, you know?
yeah, just keep it up. Anyways, I'll see you guys all later. Take care. Peace.